Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone's doing lovely on this wonderful Sunday. Um, if this is your first time viewing my channel, my name is Monica here on this channel. I do DIYs, crafting, and occasionally revamping. We have three DIYs that we will get into on today. Um, if you haven't done so as of yet, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Hit that thumbs up button to like this channel. And also... Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. With that being said, let's start crafting. Okay, DIY number one. We're simply just making a flower holder, candle holder, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is me simply using a glass that I um, had around the house um, of course you do know that Dollar Tree sell glasses of uh, the clear glasses there that you can also buy but I'm quite sure you have some clear glasses at home um, I'm using a wood round that I also got from Dollar Tree one of the um, no skid rug um, pads as well and I'll also be using four of the um, cube shaped wood blocks from Dollar Tree as well and ribbon now here you see that um there's a the little hole that is left i would not be covering mine because i would not have this out for long but you can use um some putty to cover that hole up and you can also because this is wood you can either paint it or you can also um stain it i will be leaving mine in this natural um wood tone color but feel free to do yours how you want if you choose to do this actual um, DIY. Now here I'm just laying out my cubes and placing them in the areas in which that I want it. This is going to be our little miniature riser for our um, glass uh, candle slash flower holder. Whatever you choose, to, like I stated, whatever you choose to um, do it for. Now... As I stated, this is not going to be something that I'm going to have around for a long period of time. So that's why I'm just only using hot glue. If this is something that you want for a long period of time, make certain that you use some um, wood glue and hot glue. Um, remember that the hot glue is just for a quick hold. Um, the wood glue would be for more of a um, long, durable hold. Now, after I get finished gluing on the little um, cube-shaped wood pegs, I would then start on putting the no-skid rug pad cut down to where I want onto the glass. I will glue, hot glue that on. And then once I have that hot glued on, I would then glue on the actual ribbon. Now, you can choose to leave the ribbon off you can also choose to have your um, rug piece higher. I just wanted mine halfway at the bottom of the glass um, because um, if I do choose to actually put the candle in there, I do want the candle to actually be seen. So that's why I chose to actually have the um, no skid rug pack at the bottom of the glass and as you can see here I'm just doing a line of hot glue and I'm pressing down the no skid rug pad onto the actual glass now as I stated I'm leaving all of my materials and um, without painting them if you want to you can certainly um, paint your glass as well and you can use a um this can also be done with a um you know bigger uh vase like i said this is just a regular um drinking glass that i had um, available to me that i'm using now as you see here i've glued down one end of the um no skid rug pad onto the glass i will now glue the other side down and cut off any excess uh, from the no skid rug pad now once i have this all glued down i'll then take my ribbon and i will glue it around the top of the actual no skid rug pad 
Now you can also wrap your bottom of your glass um, with a fabric. It doesn't have to actually be this uh, no skid rug pad. You can uh, wrap it with um, burlap as well. Whatever you want to um, decorate your glass with basically. Now you can also, I will be using just some um, flower pieces that um, I got from Dollar General that came in a um, bouquet, excuse me, a bouquet of um, wooden um, picks. So I just pick uh, what I wanted out and that's what I'm going to put inside my glass. And then that will complete DIY number one. DIY number two we will be making a um, little uh, dish riser um, out of a glass pie uh, baking dish and a, a wine glass now you can choose to use whichever glass that you would like now this uh, pie glass baking dish I got from Dollar General normally Dollar General have a um, these out each year around Christmas time and I wait <laughs> for the actual Christmas uh, clearance sale and this dish was I think for like I uh, got this for like a quarter and of course the wine um, glass was just a glass that I had around the house however Dollar Tree does sell several uh, wine glasses that you can choose from and as you can see here the only thing that I did was actually hot glue the actual wine glass to the actual uh, pie baking dish now what I'm showing you here this is just basic you can leave it as is such as that however what I'm going to do is take this nautical rope and wrap it around the actual wine glass I will use the entire uh, I think this is like six feet I could be wrong six feet of um, nautical rope around the actual wine glass and as you can see here I'm not using a whole I'm not gluing every time I actually go around I'm just uh, I glued from the beginning then I do a little dot every now and then just make sure when you're wrapping that you're keeping it real tight and snug so that you won't have any um, sags in your in your um, rope when you're actually wrapping it around now this is like I stated this is optional you do not have to um, wrap yours I just chose to um, wrap mine to give it a little bit more um, decorative feature now I will also say to make certain that you actually use a um, more durable glue uh, along with the hot glue if this is something that you're going to actually um, have up for a while I didn't choose to do that um, I know that this would just be a seasonal piece and I won't have it up for a long um, duration so I just um, stuck with the hot glue for right now but um, this is it for this project uh, DIY um, for us the decorative um, balls I think that I got these from at home. I've had these for a while, so that's why I'm not sure where I got these from. But I do know that Dollar Tree has the smaller um, little, little balls such as this at Dollar Tree that they sell in the pack. So you can purchase these at Dollar Tree as well. And that completes DIY number two. Okay, moving on to DIY number three. We will be making a wood sign to go outside the door. I will be using a wood round from Dollar Tree. This was from one of the Dollar Tree Plus stores. Um, the wood round was $5. I'll be using some sample Valspar paint, um, some nautical rope, and I will be using um, my wording hide that I did cut from my Cricut. So what I'm going to do first is paint my wood. Um, this is like a off 
white color I know that when I was showing you the actual top of the lid looks more like a, a light gray color but this is more so like an off-white color and I'm painting the uh, top portion as well as your size you want to always make certain that you paint your size because your size will be seen and i think i painted um i used about two coats of this now once this dry completely you want to make certain that um your wood is uh your paint is dry completely before you begin to um put any lettering or whatever that you're gonna do to it so once it's dry completely I'm going to apply my actual um, painters tape because I will be making stripes on this so I'll be using painters tape to make my markings for my stripes I will be painting my stripes a dark not too too dark but a, a darker gray ish color now once that has dried completely, I would then um, pull up the painter's tape. And as you also uh, so see on here, that there was a little bit of bleeding and I don't think that I showed you, but um, I just went back and touched that up with a smaller um, paint brush. So just make certain that when you're using your painter's tape that you actually go and make uh, certain that you don't see any air bubbles or anything such as that and to smooth it down really good onto your surface so that you don't have any bleeding now once I have all of that done I would then apply my wording that I did on my Cricut machine and I used a, a, a craft foam to do my wording and as you saw earlier in the um, video that it was yellow so I spray paint used my spray paint of um, Krylon it was a, a matte I'm sorry it was a um, matte um, metallic bronze color so once I um, have all that done I will apply my bow and my wording and you will also see me use mod podge you want to always make certain if your project is going to be near water or, or outside in the elements that you're using uh, a good water um, sealant to make certain that your project um, is not messed up so once i have all that done i would then flip my board over and apply my hanger which will be a nautical rope you'll see me sort of um, unravel the edges of the nautical rope that is so that it can lay sort of flat onto my wood and i'll also be using some of the jumbo um, popsicle sticks to lay over that just to give it more of a secure hold and once all that is finished and you also want to make certain and i don't think i showed on here you also want to make certain that you uh, mod podge the back of your projects as well if they're going to be outside just you know to make certain that um, your project is not warped or messed up in any kind of way once that all of that is completed that will be the end for DIY number three
like to thank you all for viewing my channel. If you haven't done so as of yet, please subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And hit that thumbs up button to like the video. And remember, you can also follow me on Instagram at U-K-N-E-I-K. I hope you all have a wonderful day.